everybody, I'm Andrew Garda. Welcome back to some more video analysis of the NFL Draft. Today we're going to take a closer look at Mikel LaShore, Illinois running back. Very big, powerful guy, but don't mistake him for a plotter. He's also fast, he's got very good burst, there's a lot to like about him. Today I chose the Illinois-Michigan shootout to show you some of what I see in LaShore, the good stuff, and some of the things he's going to have to work on in order to be an effective back at the NFL pro level. Let's take a closer look at Mikel LaShore. LaShore is a very strong runner and does a great job keeping his legs pumping after first contact, which makes him deadly in short yardage and goal line situations where that extra effort will get you the yards or score you need. LaShore's strength also allows him to deliver some brutal hits on defenders trying to stop him, pushing them back for extra yards. LaShore's strength also helps him in his blocking duties. He's still raw, but he's got good instincts. Watch him set himself up between the defender and his quarterback, then engage the defender and allow his quarterback to scramble for a few extra yards. His basic technique is solid in designed run plays as well, like this QB sneak. Watch LaShore get to his assigned position, pick up the defensive lineman, and let his QB get a couple of yards. While his technique is nice, LaShore isn't always consistent with his blocking. Watch him engage in a double team here, but then not finish it and let the player go. At the pro level, you need to finish or you'll find yourself on the bench quick. If LaShore can be more consistent in his blocking, that means he's on the field for third downs, which means things like this can happen. LaShore is a decent receiving back. He has good hands. He does round out his routes a little too much, but by and large, he's pretty reliable in the pass game. If he can block, that means there's an extra weapon every third down for the team who drafts him. While LaShore isn't the flash, he's got enough burst to get himself around the corner and enough speed to where he is a danger in the open field. He gets to top speed so quickly that by the time the defenders get to him, it's like trying to stop a runaway train. And when he's not running over defenders, he's just making them miss. But being able to take it outside at the college level and being able to do that at the NFL level are very different things. And even at the college level, knowing he could bounce it outside would get LaShore into trouble, like it did on this play. On the play, LaShore really doesn't have far to go. It's simple. Head for the hole and gain a couple of yards. But LaShore sees the hole close and tries to take it outside. Instead of getting the yard, he's swarmed by Michigan. Again, if LaShore just follows his line, allows them to get the push, he gains a couple of yards and it's first down a line eye. Instead, he tries to take it outside and gets nothing. At the pro level, players are even faster, and he's got to learn to take what the line gets him. If there's one other area LaShore could improve upon, it's not getting taken down by ankle tackles like that. LaShore's a big back and brutal in the open field, but occasionally he gets taken down a little too easy. Still, what flaws LaShore has are small and easily correctable, and when you see him bursting through the open field like that, or score on a short touchdown where he's able to break tackles, keep his pads level, and keep his balance, you have to think that this is a guy who's going to have a nice long NFL career. We know he can make an immediate impact. The question is, where would be the best fit? While the Patriots have needs at offensive and defensive lines, they've got the 17th, 28th, and 33rd picks. So if they want to grab Mikel LaShure, they can. And LaShure would give them the marquee back that Woodhead and Ben Jarvis Green Ellis just aren't. Meanwhile, Denver's Noshaw Moreno just can't stay healthy. We know John Fox loves to have a two-back system. Mikel LaShure is the type of back that John Fox may fall in love with. Don't be shocked if Denver takes him with their second round pick. The New Orleans Saints have a dynamic back in Reggie Bush but he can't stay healthy, and he's not a guy who will carry the load anyway. Pierre Thomas could carry the load if he could stay healthy, but he can't either. Chris Ivory can break off long runs like this, but he gets dinged up way too often also. Mikel LaShure is a big physical back who can take that pounding and be a great compliment to Reggie Bush. So that's our closer look at Mikel LaShure. LaShore is a very solid prospect, and while he may not go in the first round because running backs just don't have the value that they used to with running back by committees, and just generally the 
idea that the NFL teams can wait three, four rounds to pick up an Arian Foster, Mikel Ashore is still a very good back, and I think one of the teams I mentioned, or perhaps somewhere we're not seeing right now, is going to grab him, and he's going to be a very effective back for them. I think this is a guy who's going to have an incredibly long NFL career. Thanks for joining me. You can always catch my stuff at thunderandblur.com, biggiescreenire.com, and of course, Cheesehead TV. And don't forget to pick up your Cheesehead TV draft guide on sale now at cheeseheadtv.com. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time. Word!